got that war cry. Eminem got that war cry. Simeon got that war cry. Ruben got that war cry. Zebulon got that war cry. Israel got that war cry. I'm reading and reading and seeking and seeking Desperately waiting, no getting in the kingdom Fasting and praying, asking for faith Lord, give it to me cause I just need a taste Recycling, being let none go to waste War cry, I'm screaming, commandments make case Your problems, I'm keeping, I'm seeking your face Lord, I thank you, I thank you for giving me grace Lord, I thank you, I thank you for giving me grace For thinking myself to repent in this place For thinking myself to repent in this place Our exit is coming, it's time to escape Judah, got that war cry Benjamin got that war cry Ooh. Levi got that war cry Ooh. It's a car got that war cry Neptali Asher got that war cry Can I got that war cry Ephraim got that war cry Hermanessa got that war cry Ooh. Simeon got that war cry Ooh. Reuben got that war cry Zebulon got that war cry Israel got that war cry Your foreign relation What do you say this place was? That, that over there okay, This is the refugee I forgot what he said The company comes back I'm going to explain it again this is where they look, this is where they hang out with. Yep, right here. They're not citizens here or anywhere. They left they from the Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Remember that captain show? The little building so, called the Warfare. Give them citizenship possibly. Maybe. Hey, Papani, explain what's, what this park is in this place again. Okay. This is Papani, the host of Kente FM. Yeah. Okay, uh, here's uh, the Foreign Affairs Ministry, or what okay. we call the Ministry of Interior. And these people, they are refugees from Africa. They pass through Libya and they end up in this place. Mm. And if you inter interview some of them, there's a deal over them in Libya. But it's, it's because Kenel Gaddafi is being killed. Mm. You know, there's this kind of business going on. But during the time of Kenel Gaddafi, you know, he, he has a, the way of dealing with the situation. But right now the situation has gone out of hand. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's a, also a very big business in it because the United Nations also pays money to Italy. So, they provide a dinghy. What's a the dinghy? To That's these people for currency. them to... You know the dinghy? Uh, this kind of rubber, rubber boat yeah. oh, okay. with the motorboat. Okay. The, the, the right. Just for them right. to cross over to come. Thank you. So that they push, they push them into the system. Mm -hmm. so the, at the end of the day, this is where the end up. So some of them have been here for right. like how long? Maybe six months. Six months? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they've been sleeping over sometimes when they come very early in the morning, the station over there. The train they've been station. Sleep, the train, they've been sleeping there. Like yeah. Just mm -hmm. like in yeah. New York. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So this is what is happening to our is people. So when it's cold, they got a place where they can... The cold, you know, the, the bus station inside is a, a bit warm. And some of them have this kind of sleeping uh, uh, Apparel, so that they so they won't even like let them in the shelters night. then. No, because they're not quote unquote citizens. Exactly. Exactly. So this line here is a food line. It's you see that? Line. It's a food, food line. line back there. So this is people volunteering to bring them food. Food it is a volunteerism, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so that's what they have in the bags there. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. They have in the bags. So it's, a, it's an, uh, what I would say is an organization. We should have brought some flyers. Yeah. Bring it. Where can I? Oh. <laughs> We should have brought flies yeah. just you know, to you know, you know something stand out to me? That there's no women here. It's all young men, men. out here. Yeah. yeah. It's all, all young men out here. So yeah. this way they sleep, use the bathroom, whatever they do, they do right they here. Do, exactly. They do the doo-doo and everything, and you know, in the night, you know, they just spoil the... You see the clothes hanging up against like, Exactly. Yeah. It's just like you said, Bishop, America is truly in a bubble. Right. Yeah. This doesn't hit beep, doesn't hit any news media at all. Nobody knows nothing about this. Exactly. You have people that's been here for months and months. months, months, months cold, months. hot. Exactly. What countries are these? Are, are, are these people coming from? Multiple countries from Africa. 
North Africa, Mauritania, most of the West African people, Nigeria, Ghana, Ghana. and especially people from the Bono, pe the Bono people. But well, why would Ghana, Ghanaians have to come here? Because over there, it's not, the condition is not bad. It's but no war or it's, anything. It's no war anything, but you know, the, sometimes the, the level of poverty, you know, there's oh. the, the big difference between... But if someone I'm looking for work... The middle, exactly, to, to yeah. seek greener pasture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. To seek greener pasture. You know. Okay. Fleeing poverty. So, sometimes they have to come poverty. to lie to the system to, to be accepted. Mm -hmm. Some some Tarias say, okay, I'm a gay and they are chasing me over there now in my country and you know, this, this kind of stuff. So they'll say that? Yeah. Where, where are you from? They are fleeing, they are fleeing poverty. From where? Mauritania. No, no, no. No, no, what happened? Come, no, come, no, no, come, no, come, 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 and for the government, if you again come, you cannot come back with something. Mm -hmm. You know, the problem in Eritrea is because, you know, the white man separated Eritrea from Ethiopia. Yeah. And Ethiopia had wanted to join it back. So, uh -huh. you know, yeah. this kind of divide and conquer. Right, right. Thing. Now, we have a brother from in Amsterdam from, from where he's from. One of the brothers in your camp. I forgot his name. Yeah. Simon. 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 No, no, Simon no. from Sudan. No, the brown one. The from the kids. Arisha, we it's, call it in English. Uh, we say Arisha. His wife came to camp. Or yeah. Your sister came to camp. You don't remember? Arisha. He got curly he hair. Kids, but uh, how long you been here in the park? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And some of your people, have, for how long? Some are. They have uh, two, uh, two months. Two months, three months. Month, three month. Month. Yeah. Yeah. Some people, they are uh, five years in uh, France. France and UK border. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And most of them, when they come, their prime target is the United uh, uh, United Kingdom. United Kingdom. So they want to pave all their way to Cali because they want to cross over from uh, Cali. To and that is very, very hard. You cannot go. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. So this is the reason why sometimes the United Kingdom have wanted to pull themselves out of. Uh, the, uh, European Union. the European Union because they want to guard the borders, you know, because there are a lot of bunch of races over there. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you know, they don't know that when they cause a disaster over there, it pulls back to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, it's, this is the rippling effect Effects. of what they've been doing over there. Yeah. You break the economy back over there, people yeah. cannot survive, they cannot keep themselves above the poverty line. That's what do they have to do? They have to migrate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, right, it's, right, it's right. not hard to say that this is by design. Exa exactly. Also, the whole situation Exa is by exactly. design. Exactly. You mess the economy up and then you cause this situation. Exactly. So what uh, we've been fa facing over the the poverty is a, is is, a, is by design. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Find out what yes. By 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 the by the by the banks. You see. The IMF is the one causing it. Mm. Is the one impoverishing right. every country in the continent mm. by giving us loans that we cannot pay for. Right, I understand that. And the oh, debt and everything they actually tie right. the mineral resources to the to that yeah. as a sovereign guarantee. And the minute you take the loan, you get the, an income. Exactly. Debt right so, along so with this is how we, yeah. exactly yeah. neocolonialism yeah. is the new stage of imperialism. Yeah. But Dr. This, Kwame Nkrumah wrote a book on it. When he was yes. about to launch the book, the Americans told him, when you launch the book, be very careful. Mm. He was overthrown. Mm. He was overthrown. Mm. So yeah. that is what actually happened when Kwame Nkrumah wrote, New Colonialism is a mm. new state of imperialism. Mm. So this time around, it's not by shackles, but it's, it is through economic warfare, yes. Yes. economic yes. hitmen. Yes. yes, yes. That's what Revelation 13 is talking about. Mm. That ec economic right, uh, right. stuff. Right. Yeah. It's well, not it's talking about no damn chip. No. No. Only Arab. The English. No? Ah, okay. Ask, ask from the brother. Mm -hmm. no? English. Francais. 
Mauritania. Bishop Mauritania. The brothers from Mauritania. White man, white man's a devil. You understand? Papa? Non, non blanc. That's what they do to us. Where is our English friend? No, you speak English. Arabic. No, no, you speak English. Come on. This grand place. You know what you call big square up this Papani. Papani. Of Kente okay. FM. Okay, we're gonna be on the radio show tomorrow with Bishop Nathaniel. Uh, so brothers take us around. We're here in the heart of Belgium where the devil's at. And we're gonna show you. <laughs>
I'm Deacon Yawasap. I'm Captain Isaac. And I'm Brother Ezekiel. Brother Ezekiel's from Amsterdam. Yeah. Yes. Did you just show him? Show Brother Ezekiel. So, Brother Ezekiel. Yes, sir. Uh, De Deuteronomy 28 identifies that our people, black people, and Latin people, I don't want to forget them, are the children of Israel according to the Holy Bible. It identifies us. All right, that's what it says. We're going to go through that chapter today and uh, edify the people. Yes, yes. Uh, I want to start off with the book of Luke. Uh, and, and I want to make this statement. As long as one of us are in chains, none of us are free. And I want that, I want that to resound throughout the airwaves. All right? Uh, let's start with Luke 21 and verse 20. I want to start with the fall of Jerusalem. All right? The book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. So now it says, let them that are in the midst of Judea flee out. Flee. So Christ is warning us when Rome comes to destroy Israel, he says flee to the mountains. I want to show you that he meant the interiors of Africa. Okay, so I want to pause there. I want to go to, you get me Jeremiah 44, 12. You get me Zephaniah 3.10. And... When he goes to Jeff Zephaniah 3.10, Ezekiel, I want you to get me page 79. You know what I want, right? Zephaniah. No, no. Let's start with Jeremiah 44.12. The book of Jeremiah 44.12. Come on. And I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt. You always had, from the time of Jeremiah, you had Israelites in Egypt. And we all know Egypt is in Northeast Africa, okay? To sojourn there. We sojourned there. Some of us sojourned. That wasn't all the nation of Israel, but a remnant of Judah sojourned there in Egypt, in Africa. Go ahead. And they shall all be consumed and fall in the land of Egypt. Right, because Nebuchadnezzar was coming. So, what I wanted you to see is that Israel always had, well, give me a word, um, pro provinces or... Uh, we had uh, cities. Cities there that we dwelt in. Right. Okay, so now... From there, I want to go to Zephaniah 3.10, and Brother Ezekiel, give me page 79. Yes. Come on. Zephaniah 3, verse 10. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Go ahead. My suppliance. My suppliance. Even the daughter of my dispersed. Even the daughter of my dispersed. The word dispersed means scattered. Where will we disperse? Where will we scatter? Ezekiel, tell a book you're reading. This is the book of From Babylon to Timbuktu. Who wrote it? Uh, it's written by uh, Rudolf R. Winsor. He's a Bible scholar. He's a, yes, he's a Bible yeah, scholar. To a, certain, to a certain degree, but now give me page 79. Yes. Come on. So it's Dr. Rudolf Winsor. Yes, yes, Dr. Rudolf R. Uh, page 79. Right. By the time of, pro of the prophet Zephaniah. By the pro time of the prophet Zephaniah. About 630 B.C. About 630 B.C. Ethiopia and the adjacent lands of Uganda and Kenya. Ethiopia and adjacent lands of Uganda and, and, and Kenya, and Kenya were, were swarming with black Jews. Were swarming with black Jews. Go ahead. Zephaniah says in uh, 310, from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Now listen good to this. My suppliants, even the daughter of my dispersed, shall bring mine offering. Go ahead. This verse is an uh, indication that the Israelites would be multiplying and making converts among the inhabitants beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Now here's the part we want. No doubt this prophet had communication with the Jews in the area, in this remote area. The rivers of Ethiopia connect with the Nile water system. The rivers of Ethiopia connect with the Nile water system. Right? In the heart of Ethiopia. Uh -huh. The Atbara River... Now he names the rivers. The Atbara River... Extends from the highlands of modern Ethiopia uh -huh. to the Nile. Down towards the Nile. The Blue Nile, the Blue Nile ex extends from the direction of Addis Ababa uh -huh. in a northwestern direction toward the Nile. Near uh -huh. Uganda and the northern Congo is the Bar el Ghazal. So near Uganda and what? Is the Bar? No, no. Near Uganda and you said another name. Uh, near Uganda and the northern Congo. Northern Congo. Now you know the Congos around Central Africa, right? Is yes. 
Okay. Uh, did you finish that? No. Go ahead. Uh, near Uganda and the northern Congo is the Bar El Ghazal River. It is 500 miles long in southwest Uga uh, Sudan, formed by the confluence of the Bar El Arab and Yur rivers in the northwest Upper Nile. It flows east to the United East to unite at Lake No, Lateno, with the Bar El Jebel, and from and form the White Nile. These areas are beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Moreover, are there any records or oral traditions of the existence of Jewish tribes deeply beyond the rivers of Ethiopia? So beyond the rivers of Ethiopia covers a large part of Africa. That's the that's what I wanted to read the listeners to understand. Okay. Now let's go back to Luke 21. And then you get me page uh, 84 in this book. Luke 21, uh -huh. verse 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. So the mountains, as we proved, is the interiors of Africa. Go ahead. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter thereinto. For these be the days of vengeance. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. All things which are written may be fulfilled. Christ is making references to the curses of Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, Leviticus, 26th chapter. Go ahead. Now we're going to go more into the Bible. We're going to go deeper and deeper into the Bible. Plus dans la Bible, en profondeur. You're going to learn more scriptures today than you ever learned in your lives. Vous allez apprendre plus d'écritures aujourd'hui que vous n'avez jamais appris dans vos vies. I know some of you, you all you know is John 3:16. All some of you know is John 3:16. Tout ce que certains d'entre nous connaissent c'est Jean 3:16. Love, 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 love. Amen. 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 Slave, 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 poor, Esclave, migrants, slave, poor, refugees. Refugié. But you don't know that in the Bible. Mais vous ne connaissez, vous ne voyez pas ça dans la Bible. So now, Deuteronomy 20th chapter. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 15. Okay. Verse 20. I'm going Kings, to. Pardon. Kings. Kings. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show these slides. So on that side, I want you over there. I'm going to be over here. Okay. All right. Deuteronomy 28. Okay, it's in English, so I apologize. So I need the brother to uh, translate. What's his name? <laughs> Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now, translate that. Mais si tu n'obéis point à la voix de l'Éternel, ton Dieu, si tu n'observes pas et ne mets pas en pratique tous ces commandements et toutes les lois que je te prescris aujourd'hui, voici toutes les malédictions qui viendront sur toi et qui seront en ton partage. So this is a warning to the 12 tribes of Israel. Donc ça c'est une mise en garde des 12 tribus d'Égypte. If you break God's laws, donc si vous n'observez pas les lois, curses the malédiction shall come upon you. Descendront sur vous. Let's see what these curses are. Consultons quelles sont ces malédictions. I want slide 32. Verse 30. Verse 32. Verse 32. Slide. Verse 32. I'm gonna get to the key points. Verse 32. Right there. Come up. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Translate. Tes fils et tes filles seront livrés à un peuple, à un autre peuple. Tes yeux les verront et l'engourront tous les jours après eux. Et tes mains seront sans force. When it says your sons and your daughters shall be given unto another people. Il dit quand tes fils et tes filles seront donnés à un autre peuple. Another people means another race of people. Donc un autre peuple veut dire un, une autre race. Feed on Isaac from there and thine eyes. 
and thine and the and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Translate. Et tes yeux les verront à long et les jours après eux et ta main sera sans force. I'll give an example of that. Je vous I donne un exemple de cela. You have a child here. Vous child avez des here. enfants ici. You have children here. Des enfants. Your sons and daughters. Some of your sons and daughters were taken to Haiti. Donc on vous dit que vos enfants seront envoyés vers l'autre pays. Some were taken to America. Certains seront envoyés en Amérique. Some were taken to Brazil. Certains au Brésil. Some were taken throughout the Caribbean islands. Certains en Colombie quelque part. Puerto Rico. Some were taken to Puerto Rico. Certains en Puerto Rico. Mexico. Au Mexique. India. En Inde. Iraq. En Irak. Now. Maintenant. You think, oh, those are different people. I don't. That's not my people. It's they're different. Donc vous dites ah mais ça c'est des c'est des autres personnes. That's what many of you do. Oh no, they're not the same. No, they're different. On n'est pas les mêmes. Non. Hmm. Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Il n'y aura pas de force dans tes mains. No military might. Pas de d'armée militaire. No economic might. Pas de moyens économiques. No political might. Pas de moyens politiques. To unite your people again. Pour unir ton peuple encore. We don't have time to play church. On n'a pas le temps pour jouer à l'église. You could go sing and dance in your house in your shower. Vous pouvez aller chez vous chanter dans son. The Bible is a real book. La Bible est le vrai livre. The Bible is our history book. La Bible est notre livre d'histoire. Verse 33. Le verset 33. The fruit of thy land in all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Un peuple qui n'aura point connu, que tu n'auras point connu, mangera le fruit de ton sol et, tu ne, et le produit de ton travail et tu ne seras tous les jours opprimé et écrasé. What do you call that? Colonialism. Translate. Colonialism. Ça c'est le colonialisme. When another nation comes and reaps the fruit of your land. Quand une autre nation vient récolter les fruits de votre terre. For example. Par exemple. King Leopold II. Le roi Leopold II. When he took his armies, his troops into the Congo. Quand il a envoyé ses troupes au Congo. And forced our people to work and labor. Ils ont forcé les gens à travailler. And Belgium became one of the richest nations on earth. Et la Belgique s'est enrichie sur ce dos. But nobody talk about that. Mais on n'en parle pas. And it's happened all throughout Africa. Et ça s'est passé durant dans toute l'Afrique. When they reap the resources from the land. Quand on lit l'histoire. And you're oppressed and you have no power to change it. Et que vous avez, vous avez été oppressé, vous n'avez aucun pouvoir de les changer. With your corrupt political leaders. Avec vos politiciens corrompus. Leading from the hands of America and the European Union. Donc euh, poussé par les puissances européennes, américaines. So cry now. Go call your mama. Donc on. Donc pleure et appelle ta mère maintenant. Read it again, verse 33. Donc on lit encore le verset 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest no, not. That's the white man. We didn't know that. Un peuple que tu n'auras point connu mangera ton fruit. Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Et tu seras opprimé tous les jours et écrasé. Are you oppressed and crushed? Est-ce que vous êtes opprimé et écrasé? Are you oppressed? Est-ce que vous êtes opprimé? We're all oppressed. Nous sommes tous opprimés. The Bible's real. La Bible est réelle. Stop playing games with the Word of God. Commencez à jouer avec la parole de Dieu. Verse 34. Arrêtez de jouer avec la parole de Dieu. Verse 34. Le verset 34. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. Translate. Le spectacle que tu auras sous les yeux. Tu le, le spectacle pardon, que tu auras sous les yeux, je te le jetterai pour, uh, dans le délire. So when you see the European nations wealthy from the resources of the lands throughout Africa, are you mad? Donc, Est-ce que vous êtes... Some of you ain't mad. Are you mad? Yes. Hmm. Are you mad back there? I don't know. Are you mad? You might be mad at me, but are you mad at what you see? Are you mad at what you see? He looking at me like he want to kill me. I'm all right. I'm your brother. <laughs> are you mad? Est-ce que vous êtes fou? Are you mad? Yes. I don't know. See, I don't know about our people. We flee. We, 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 hey, what's the name of that park? Uh, Grand Noor yeah, Park here. Yeah. Yeah, how do you know? Where all the ref they call them refugees. Donc il y a des réfugiés là. Running, fleeing from their lands for poverty and persecution. Donc fuyant le peuple de leur pays pour la persécution. I went there yesterday. 
Je sais. Je sais. Where the women at? I see all men. Donc il est arrivé là hier, il a demandé où sont les femmes ici. The women, les hommes. The women have to sell their butts in uh, the red light district. You know what I'm saying? Translate what I said. Don't be scared. The women have to sell their bodies for sex. Donc les femmes doivent vendre leur corps. In the red light district over here. In the red light district over here. Sur le. Ça la gare du nord, la la rue des prostituées. It's yeah, prostitution. Merci. So I don't know about you. I get mad when I see this. Je ne sais pas pour vous, mais j'étais en délire quand j'ai vu ceci. Nobody talks about this in church. Personne ne parle de cela à l'église. We don't have time to play church. On n'a pas le temps pour jouer à l'église. The Bible's a real book. La Bible est un vrai livre. Start treating it with. You better put some respect on the Bible. On commence à mettre du respect dans la Bible. Next, next verse. Le verset suivant. Jump down. Next verse. I'm gonna get to some key points. Next verse. Uh. Next, 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 next. Uh, okay, from 38, let's read there. Verse 38. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field, and shalt gather but little in, for the locust shall consume it. Tu transporteras sur ton champ beaucoup de semences, et tu feras une faible récolte, car les sauterelles les dévoreront. Hey, pastor, if he perhaps says something wrong, can you... Help him out. Sure, yeah, sure. Please, please help me. Help okay, me. Okay. All right. Okay. The message is very important. Donc le message est très important. Verse 39. Verse 39. Verse 39. Thou shalt plant vineyards. Tu planteras des vignes. And dress them. Et tu les récolteras. But shalt, but shalt neither drink of the wine. Et tu n'en boiras pas le vin. Nor gather the grapes. Et tu ne feras pas de récolte. For the worms shall eat them. Car les vers la mangeront. So God's curse was upon us and upon the lands wherein we dwelt. God's curse was upon us. Donc Dieu a maudit qui nous punira. And upon the lands we lived in. Donc nos terres étaient maudites et nous aussi étions maudits par Dieu. Verse forty-eight. Verset quarante-huit. Verse forty-eight. Verse forty-eight. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Translate. Tu seras au milieu de la faim, de la soif, de la nudité, de la dissette, de toutes ces choses, des ennemis que l'Éternel endroit contre toi, il se mettra un jour de fer sur ton cou jusqu'à ce qu'il t'ait détruit. So, This verse might upset some of you in here. Donc cela pourrait heurter certains d'entre vous ici. Therefore shalt thou serve thine. Y'all know what this word enemies is? You must serve your enemies. It does not say friends. Enemies. I know that. I know you never use that word in church. Je sais que vous n'utilisez pas ce mot même à l'église. Because in church, everybody's your friend in Jesus. Parce que dans l'église, tout le monde est votre ami en Jésus. You have never learned the Bible. You've been playing games in church. Donc vous jouez à l'église. The Bible says, La Bible dit, you shall serve your enemies. Tu serviras tes ennemis. Ask your brothers in America. Demande aux gens en Amérique. We'll tell you who the enemy is. Nous allons vous dire euh, qui sont les ennemis. Ask the Congo. Demandez au Congo. They'll tell you who the enemy is that they Ils have to serve. Vous dire qui est l'ennemi. Ask the people of Kwame and Kume. He'll Demandez tell you. Demandez au peuple de Kwame Nkrumah, ils vont vous dire who the enemy is. Qui est l'ennemi. Mm. Read it again, verse 48. Continue to read the 28, the 48, pardon. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Stop. Who sent them against us? The Lord. Il est le Seigneur envoie des ennemis contre nous. Why did the Lord send them against us? Pourquoi est-ce que le Seigneur envoie des ennemis contre nous? Because we broke His laws. Parce que nous avons brisé ses lois. Under Moses, sur les montagnes, we got the laws of God. We were the top nation on earth. And we disobeyed. So these are the curses for our disobedience. Every law God gave us, we broke. Now we serve an enemy who says you don't have to keep God's laws no more. From church to church, 
de l'église, de l'église en église. Our people don't keep no laws. Nos peuples ne gardent plus les lois. We sing and dance. Nous chantons et dansons. So we stay suffering. Donc nous continuons, nous restons dans la souffrance. Read it again, verse 48. Lisez encore le 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger, Me and... Hun hunger means for food. If you want food, you better serve your enemies. La nourriture. Read. And in thirst. And and thirst, if you want water, you better serve your enemies. And in nakedness. If you want clothing, dans la nudité, you better serve your enemies. Tu Because we don't own textile firms. We got to go to get... Uh, clothing from China, Thailand, Pakistan, Pakistan de, de la Chine et oui. and in want of all things. Et dans la de toutes ces choses. In want of all things means things, for example, education. Dans la de choses, Where you education. want to get educated, most, most of our people go to London or America. Beaucoup de nos peuples vont en Amérique ou à, à, à Londres. Right. Even if you want something like religion, même si vous voulez quelque chose comme la religion, the ministers that you follow les, les ministères que vous suivez have been taught uh, by like, your enemies or été enseigné par vos ennemis mm. Mm. read and, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck il mettra un joug de fer sur ton cou now for those of you that say the white man is jewish the white man is jew say so those ceux qui disent que le blanc blanc est juif when did the white man have yokes of iron on their neck où avez-vous un joug sur le cou de l'homme blanc You can look at all the slave history. Vous pouvez regarder dans toute l'histoire de l'esclavage. We had yokes of iron on our neck. Nous avons eu des joues sur le, le cou. Let's show you some illustrations. Come on. Next slide. Wait. Go back. Go back to the beginning. Go back up. Mm -mm -mm. Not too fast. You're going too fast for me. Go back to 48. Okay. Oops. Go back. Okay. Go back. Right there. Okay. Go back. I, I want to go back again. Okay, here. The crops and all such things is ruled by our enemies. If we want food, we got to go to them. Donc, and you know what's funny about this? Le, 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 Think about it. Africa has everything she needs. Donc, tout ce ils ont besoin, in terms of resources. En, en termes de ressources. But you have the most poverty. Why? Because they will pay the people a dollar, a, for example, a dollar a day to uh, take cocoa, cocoa beads, uh, tobacco, things of that nature. Donc, des gens sont payés pour cultiver ce que nous avons. Dollar, then they send it to either Europe or America. Et ils les envoient en Amérique ou aux, euh, aux États, euh, en, en Europe. Refine it, repackage it. Donc, qu'ils transforment. Refine it, repackage it. Donc, ils transforment et le travaillent. And sell it back to you for a higher rate. Et vous le revendent plus cher. And you can't afford it. Et vous ne pouvez pas le revendiquer. Next slide. For thirst, we got to serve our enemies. Pour la soif. Oh, we were in Ghana a few months ago. Nous avons été au Ghana il y a quelques temps, c'est là. I don't know how many of you ever heard of Bill Gates. Je ne sais pas combien de vous avez entendu parler de Bill Gates. He created something called the Omni Processor. Donc il a créé quelque chose appelé le, process, le processus armé. Where he takes dung, feces, dung. Qui prend la merde d'un... Euh, he compresses it. De, de merde d'animaux qu'ils comprennent. Et puis il met dans ces petits bags que les enfants vendent throughout Ghana de drinking water. Qu'ils mettent dans des petits sachets qui sont vendus en, au Ghana. C'est disgusting. They can't process salt water to, to donc, purify it. Donc ils purifient, si vous voulez, de la, de la merde et puis ils le revendent. They don't want to uh, cleanse the salt water. They say no, no. Cleanse the fecal matter. You know donc, fecal matter. Pff, donc le poupou. Le poupou. Pou -pou. Donc ils nettoient, si vous voulez, toujours de la merde pour la revendre. All throughout Ghana, Donc, à tout le Ghana, Haiti, parts of Jamaica, we see this stuff going on. A vu ça partout où on est passé au Jamaïque également. The World Court don't speak about it. Mais les, les livres n'en parlent pas. And your church don't talk about it. Et l'église non plus n'en parle pas. But we don't talk about it. Mais si nous n'en parlons pas. Understand that. Next slide. Comprenez ceci. Nakedness. Here's the clothing where clothes that come from Bangladesh. Il parle de nudité. Nos vêtements viennent de Bangladesh. China. De Chine. Taiwan. De Taiwan. France. De France. And you got Italy. Et nous avons aussi de la euh, de l'Italie. These other nations own textiles to make our clothes. Voilà les nations qui font nos vêtements. Next slide. And the want of all things goes with medication. Et quand il parle de d'autres, les, les tissus dans toutes choses. For example. Par exemple. Ah, uh, in 
Help me out here. Ebola. Ebola, Ebola in Ebola. Uh, Liberia. Oh, Liberia. Um, Nigeria. You got cholera. On a cholera. You mean in Nigeria, Liberia, places there's no doctors? Donc, vous pensez que au Nigeria, au Liberia, y a pas de docteurs? Why do we need doctors from oh. America and Europe? Pourquoi avons-nous besoin des de, de docteurs depuis l'Amérique to vaccine us? Pour aller nous vacciner là-bas. Has anyone checked what's in the Est vaccine? Est-ce que quelqu'un allait vérifier pourquoi? Then our children grow up with uh, autism. autism. Donc nos enfants grandissent avec euh, l'autisme. Okay, next slide. Now the Bible says you would have yokes of iron on your neck. La Bible dit que vous aurez un joug de fer sur le cou. This is an old etching. Ça c'est c'est une vieille image. And this is a photograph. Et ça c'est la photographie entière. The Bible is our book. La Bible notre livre. You won't find no history of white people going through this. Vous ne trouverez aucun livre d'histoire de blancs passant dans ces choses. It did not happen to them. Ça ne les arrive pas. It did not happen to the Chinese. Ça n'arrive pas aux Chinois. It did not happen to the uh, Pakistanis. Ça n'arrive pas aux Pakistanais. It did not happen to the Arabs. Ça n'arrive pas aux Arabes. It happened to our people. Ça arrive à notre peuple. Read on. Verse 49. No, I want 47. Read 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Pour n'avoir pas au milieu de l'abondance de toutes ces choses servi l'Éternel ton Dieu avec joie et bon cœur. So when God gave us the laws, donc Dieu nous a donné des lois, we were not happy. Nous n'avons pas obéi. It's like today. C'est comme aujourd'hui. I'm going to give you a law. Watch this. Je vais vous donner une loi. Regardez ceci. Give I'm an easy law. Deuteronomy 22:5. I'm going to no, give you an example of how people get angry. Verse 5. This is. You know, I'm going to show you anger right now. Deuteronomy 22:5. Watch everybody's face. Deuteronomy 22:5. Watch the women's face. Well, I just watched the women. Read that. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. The woman. Verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Une femme ne portera point un habillement d'homme et un homme ne, porte, ne mettra point des vêtements de femme. Car quiconque fait ces choses est une abomination à l'éternel ton Dieu. What do women wear today that pertains to men? Ask them. Hmm? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Pants. Pants. Qu'est-ce qu'ils mettent aujourd'hui les femmes C'est les pantalons. Pants and jeans that came about les pantalons the, et les jeans. around the 60s. Qui a venu dans That's when it became popular for women. Cross dressing. We read this on the street. We were on. Where were we? Uh, in Amsterdam. We read this law. Donc nous avons été à Amsterdam. Nous avons lu cela. Some women almost wanted to attack us. Donc Church. certaines femmes voulaient les attaquer dans l'église. Christian women wanted to attack. Voulaient les attaquer parce qu'ils ont lu ça à l'église. This is why we went into slavery. Just for example, verse 47 again. Le verset 47 encore dit. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. What does it mean by the abundance of all things? God gave us the earth. For the abundance of all things, we ruled the earth under King David and King Solomon. For the abundance of all things, we ruled the earth under King David and King Solomon. Dans, dans l'abondance de toutes ces choses, la, la mort du roi David et du Salomon. But when the laws were given by Moses, we got angry. Donc la, la loi qui nous a été donnée par Moïse, s'il faut la suivre, on ne sait pas. Que... Oh, et, et, David, on régnait sur le monde et on avait tout. Yes, what he said. <laughs> so, I just gave you one law. Donc je vous ai donné juste une loi. With our women who get mad. Avec nos femmes qui se sont fâchées. Are you mad? <laughs> Okay. Are you sisters mad? Yes. Oh, she's mad. She said yes. I'm showing you why you will stay in poverty and afflicted because when the laws Donc, come out, là où vous avez, euh, most of us in here, well, maybe not in here, most beaucoup, of our people, beaucoup de personnes, their, their God is the white man. Ils, ils, ils blanc. Hmm? Ils sont guidés par blanc. Get mad. Get mad. Tell them get mad. Yeah. Soit fâché. Soit fâché vous. <laughs> Jump down to verse 68.
like I said on the news. My alarm clock is ringing. Shit. Bless your love, Miss Real. Most High Christ bless you all. Are uh, here at the airport in Brussels on the way back to the States. Um, this trip, it, it was great. It was a good experience getting to um, meet the congregation in London, uh, Birmingham, came together. More people than I was expecting. Uh, they're growing, Most High is sending laborers amongst them, and then we had the opportunity to make a way into, into Amsterdam, meet the congregation there. Another one, I was very surprised. Uh, they have a school already, so we went there for the grand opening, went to camp out there. Uh, people received the word. You know, um, uh, like, like normal, you're going to have uh, people who's going to you know, disagree or heckle, but for the most part, it was well received. What the Most High is showing us is that uh, we have a lot of work to do. This is bigger than just going to, uh, throughout the states, uh, going into the Caribbean. Uh, we find ourselves as uh, far north as Amsterdam, Brussels, and uh, we met congregation, some brothers uh, out of Germany. I heard it's 13 out there. So uh, the most high sense of mission. He told us in um, Isaiah 11, 11 that we'll be scattered throughout the earth, and we understand it. So we find ourselves here. We find ourselves down into the continent of Africa, uh, meeting a lot of people that at one time, um, you know, they were for the most part uh, forgotten about. But uh, the people down there. It's keeping the commandments, they believe in Christ, they know that there is rights already. Our job is just to, uh, to guide them on this journey. So we ask all of you to support. Visit us at www.israelunite.org. Uh, we have a booster club. You can follow us on YouTube, IUIC. Anywhere you see brothers teaching that the Israelites in purple and gold, that is us. So support us, keep us in your prayers, and know that we are about God's work. So with that, I say Shalom. Hey, Shalom Israel. Today's our last day. We're heading back to our various locations. Uh, we give our praises to the Most High. We thank you, brothers and sisters in the Booster Club and those who have helped us. Uh, several days of teaching, several radio shows, camp teachings, uh, school set up in Amsterdam. So we, we did a lot. Uh, and can somebody tell those GMS members, stop following us around. Always want to talk to me. Don't go deal with your, your, your teacher. Vernon, stop chasing me. I go to the left, the need, need me want to talk to you. Don't talk to me. All right, go, go do the work. Anyway, Israel, y'all stay tuned. This, the Acts of the Apostles continues. All right, Shalom. Shalom, Israel. It's, uh, Deacon Yawasab heading back to the States. Uh, my trip here, along with the brethren, has been absolutely monumental. I uh, got to meet a lot of the great brothers and the great sisters here that put in a lot of work to keep to keep Israel in the spirit. It's a beautiful thing to actually come here and be a part of that and to actually see it in motion. It's one thing to deal with it over the uh, television and over the uh, YouTube and Periscope, but to actually be a part of the prophecies of the Lord, it was absolutely monumental. I will never forget this trip. This trip is uh, monumental in terms of prophecies and the scriptures and in terms of what we seek to do in IUIC. So it was absolutely a pleasure to meet with your brothers and sisters. Y'all stay in the faith, keep the commandments of the Lord, and stay. we'll stay in touch and y'all stay in touch with us. All right, unity, remember unity is the key. Unity is the key, always stay together. Okay, stay together. As the scriptures say, they that fear the Lord spake, spake often one to another daily. Okay, that's in the book of Malachi, chapter three, verse six, 16. 3 verse 16. So with that, give us Godspeed on our trip back to the States. We say Shalom. Shalom Israel. I'll be looking for you on uh, Telegram and on, uh, and on the other different mediums like Periscope. I do look at the different brothers and sisters who log into the classes. So um, I now have absolute faces and experiences to put with those names. So I say to my brothers and sisters here in uh, Brussels as well as the UK and London, we say shalom and thank you so much. You made this trip absolutely monumental. We say shalom, Israel. Hi, shalom, Israel. Most high Christ bless. Hey, uh, we about to depart from Brussels. I got a long flight. <laughs> I think I'm the only brother that got a three or four, five connecting flights just to get back to the house. But all in all, it was a good trip. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot. Uh, the scriptures say a man that traveled know many things. Uh, it'd be good to touch down in these different places and, you know what I'm saying, uh, bring the spirit of God there to build the people up. 
So it's just a blessing, man. I enjoy Amsterdam. Uh, I enjoy Brussels, man. Bishop brought it out at the church, man. I can't wait till y'all see the video if y'all ain't seen it already. Uh, London, man. We brought the fire to London. Hey, they didn't, they didn't know what healed them. So, and I'll praise to the most high. Shalom, Israel. I'm saying Christ bless. We're about to depart Belgium on the way back to New York. Um, overall, this was a beautiful trip. Very prosperous. We were able to get the word, word out in, um, in London, in Netherlands, and then now in Belgium. The word is going to continue to prosper. Like the scripture says, their line shall go throughout the earth. And we know what line that's talking about. All right, IUIC, we're going to continue. Um, to touch different grounds, to raise up the elect of our people that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Y'all brothers stay tuned, y'all endure, support the troops, all right? All praises to the Most High Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Most High Christ, bless Israel. IUIC on the journey again. Listen, all praises to the Most High that this word is going out. He said the work is labor, I mean, the laborers is plenty, but the work is a few. There's so much work needs to be done. The further we go out, the further more our people, the word going out. Like uh, we were speaking before, the line going out throughout the earth, this truth is going forth, all praises to the Most High. But at the end of the day, he said, when it come to pass, Ezekiel 33, 33, he said, when it come to pass, and lo, it will come that you will know that a prophet is among you. So we come out here, wake our people up, if people don't want to hear it, they're being marked by the word of God. So we're doing our job, and all praises to the Most High, he put the spirit on the leadership. To put that spirit on us, where well, we can spit that spirit on y'all to come out here and get that work done. We ain't gonna sit around and just talk about it. We're gonna come out here and put our hands to the plow and make sure we get this work done. So, all praise to the Most High for putting the breath of life in us to make this trip happen. And I pray that there's plenty more to happen and be successful just as well. All right, shalom to you, Israel, and make sure y'all put your penny, put your penny, put your penny into the pot to make sure we help, uh, help us get to these places. All praises. Shalom. All right, shalom, bro. Most high Christ bless, bro. Shalom, Captain. Most high Christ bless. Hey, man, you've been behind the camera the whole trip. Yeah, it was a good experience, you know, to be around leadership, to be able to capture all of the good moments, the camp footage, the radio footage, the church yesterday of Bishop bringing it out, edifying the whole church. It's definitely a good experience, you know, just to be amongst and the leadership. All praises. Hey, you know you're one of the youngest international prophets we got. <laughs> That's right. Praise to the most high. Hey, you got people in the States, man, and all over the world still ain't international yet, bro. Praise to the most So, hey, you know, the scripture said, man, they travel know of many things. What's some of the stuff you learned during this trip, man? All uh, a lot, man. Just, just to be around the leadership, you know, just how to govern yourself, the order, the structure amongst the bishop, to the deacon, to the captains, to the officer, myself, and the rest of the brothers, just to learn the order and the structure and how disciplined each each person is. So okay. It's definitely a good experience. Yeah. All praise to the most high, bro. We enjoyed you, bro. All yeah, praise. Praise. praise you. Praise you. you did a great Shalom. work. Shalom. Going Shalom. down in the annuals of Israel history. And praise you, yes, sir. Shalom. Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.